Water from a reservoir is flowing through an elastic pipe, 1,500 mm in diameter, 900 meters long, and thickness of steel pipe wall of 25 mm. Water has a bulk modulus of water of 2,070 megapascals and bulk modulus of elasticity of steel pipe of 200,000 megapascals. If the initial flow rate is 1,200 liters per second, find the water hammer pressure for instantaneous valve closure. The approximate water hammer pressure at the valve if it is closed in 5 seconds. The water hammer pressure at the valve if it is manipulated so that the flow rate drops almost instantly from 1,200 liters per second to 500 liters per second. The maximum water hammer pressure at a point in the pipe 120 meters from the reservoir. If a 1.2 second valve closure reduces the flow rate from 500 liters per second to zero. So first, let's compute for the celerity because for instantaneous valve closure, water hammer pressure is C density velocity divide by 1000 to express it in kilopascals. So C is bulk modulus of elasticity of fluid water over density 1 plus bulk modulus of water diameter over bulk modulus of pipe wall thickness of pipe wall. So equals square root of 2.07 times 10 to the 9 pascals over 1000 times quantity 1 plus 2.07 gigapascals 1500 mm diameter over 200 gigapascals 25 mm thickness of pipe wall. So celerity is 1,030 meters per second. So pH, therefore, for instantaneous valve closure is 0 V over 1,000. So 1,130 times 1,000 times velocity, which is 4 Q over pi diameter square, 4 times discharge, 1.2 over pi 1.5 square, so 0.6791 meter per second. Substitute. So pH equals 1130 times 1000 times 0 0.6791 over 1000. So the water hammer pressure for instantaneous wall closure is 764.4 kilopascals. For part B, the appro approximate water hammer pressure at the valve it is closed in 5 seconds. So actual time of closure is 5 seconds. And time for the pressure wave to, tra to travel round trip is 2L over C. So 2 times 900 meters over 1130, 900 meters long the pipe, 1.593. So actual time of closure is 5 seconds greater than time for the pressure wave to travel round trip. So it is low closure and the increase in pressure is pH prime. So let's solve pH prime by proportion. pH prime as to 1.593 equals 764.4 as to 5 seconds. So pH prime is 244.5 kilopascals. The water hammer pressure at the valve is manipulated so that the flow rate drops almost instantly from 1,200 liters per second to 500 liters per second. So <clears throat> delta pH would be 0 delta V this time over 1,000 where V final is 4 times discharge 0.5 or pi 1.5 square. So it is 0.2829 meters per second. <coughs> so delta pH is uh, 1130 times 1000 <coughs> times quantity 0.6791 minus 0.2829 over 1000. So delta pH is 447.7 kilopascals. <laughs> then finally, the maximum water hammer pressure at a point in the pipe, 120 meters from the reservoir, if a 1.2 second valve closure reduces the flow rate from 500 liters per second to zero. So let's solve for uh, pH first. 1.2 seconds actual time of closure is <coughs> less than 1.593, so this is sudden closure. So <coughs> for sudden closure, pH is 0 V over 1000 again. <coughs> Celerity times 1000 times <coughs> velocity, which is 0 0.2829, when the discharge is 500 liters per second, then final velocity 0 
over 1,000, so pH is 319.7 kilopascals. And this, of course, this will extend for a certain distance up to XO from the reservoir. And we're looking for the increase in pressure at a point in the pipe 120 meters from the reservoir. <laughs> so imagine this is the valve and this is the reservoir and 319.7, which, which is this pressure here, uh, is constant for a certain distance up to XO. Then this is the point from the reservoir 120 meters. So let's call the increase in pressure at that point in the pipe as pH1. And pH1 as to 120 equals 319.7 as to XO. To solve for XO, round trip distance to XO divided by celerity is equal to actual time. <coughs> actual time of closure 1.2. So 2XO over 1130 is 1 1.2. So XO is 678 meters. Then by proportion, pH1 as to 120 meters equals 319.7 as to XO 678. So the increase in pressure at that point 120 meters from the reservoir point in the pipe is equal to 56.58 kilopascals. So that's it for this problem.